A lot of folks' first experience with a knife has been a Gerber. That oftentimes is that kicker, that gateway to understanding the utility that a knife has day to day for, for a user. If they find half as much utility in a knife as I do, they'll graduate to something better and just keep on going from there. I started working here in 2013 for Gerber Gear. Formerly, Gerber was Gerber Legendary Blades. There's been a, an evolution of the name and an evolution of our offerings. You name it, if it's outdoors, we're there. Basically, all of our core development functions are here in Portland, Oregon. A lot of our institutional products, meaning stuff that we sell to the United States government, that's all made here. Not to mention a lot of our most popular items come out of this plant right here in Portland, Oregon. Where a product is designed certainly does like weigh heavily on the final products. All the amazing outdoor opportunities there are around here certainly do get baked into all these products. We're in our multi-tool area, and right now in our multi-tool area, what we have is components that are getting built over in the wet room and then brought over to this side to be assembled. The assembly step really has three steps to it. The first step of our multi-tool assembly process is to put together a slide lock for the handle. That's the way they can receive their multi-tool components. Once they're at that phase, we can actually assemble a uh, tool pack. And with that tool pack, we're going to put in the components that we're grinding in that wet room into our tool pack. There's really a, a large assortment of components we can put into these tool packs. We also bring our jaws in and over have those assembled. They're riveted, they're sanded, they're formed and then we have a black oxide process to finish them. Once that's completed, we're gonna put all of it together, the two tool packs, as well as the jaw in. That ends up looking like this, where the jaws are able to slap out, opening, you got your tool packs within them. And that's our assembly process. I think the most exciting thing about where Gerber's been headed since I've been here is it's the real pure focus on the consumer end user use case, EDC driven tools and gear. EDC is an acronym that stands for everyday carry, with being what you carry in your pocket to open boxes, open mail, dig splinters out of your finger, whatever those sundry tasks are that come up during the day, that's EDC. A good example of that would be the fastball knife. That knife really was sort of a watershed moment for the organization in terms of realigning our focus to high quality, domestically produced tools and gear. The time that we put into that, the thought that we put into it, really did sort of reveal the fact that it was possible to, to do this stuff again. We hadn't started a brand new domestic knife in, in a number of years, and especially targeting this level of refinement and uh, finish. The level of handwork and finish that it takes to achieve a workmanlike product at the end of the day is just so great in this day and age. A clean, well-balanced, nice-looking, comfortable knife. It's not as easy as it sounds to strike all the right notes and have folks be able to afford the thing. I think that's something that Gerber's been able to do quite well in the past, and, and we still strive to do uh, at this time. Having a knife in my pocket, it's meant a lot of things to a lot of different versions of me. Being able to pull something out of your pocket, clean something up, cut something quickly, there's a thousand different things that a knife has been for me. Knives really are one of mankind's oldest tools, and it's a, it's a pretty fun deal to be involved in, in the progression of that tradition.